third down run nets 14 yards now from the 28 here's Pratt feeling the rhythm has the pass caught and that's going to be for a touchdown Deuce Watts corrals it and an easy pitch and catch for six points for Tule. Yeah, and the third and manageable situations is where you will see Gabriel have quarterback designed runs facing a three man front this time all day to throw Gabriel flings it deep wide open is Williams he has it keeps the play in bounds and Marlon Williams has a touchdown unbelievable play for the Knights and Gabriel bought as much time as he could there is a flag on the field and on the 10th play of the drive they'll try to do just that towards the end zone brought in in the back corner did he get a foot down yes he did touchdown two lane and the green wave strike again Jaquan Jackson third touchdown grab of the season for the sophomore from Louisiana you want to make Dylan Gabriel one-handed in some form. I don't know if they're doing that just yet outside of the fourth down stop. Gabriel going to fling it deep. Has a man. Harris at the five. It'll be first down and goal. Jacob Harris, the transfer from Western Kentucky. As if it's some kind of a fire drill to get the next playoff once again. Third gain of 54 yards in this one as McCray bolts ahead for the easy touchdown of a power run game, but right down Main Street. We got sniffers, we got zombies. We're still a week away from Halloween off of play action. Tight end has it for the touchdown. Second score of the season for Jake Hescock. Towards the end zone, back corner, open. Did he get a foot down? Marlon Dick Williams, he did. And Marlon Williams scores. The eyes of Pratt are upon you. 10 of 16 through the air. Hutterson straight ahead. Ball pops out. Let's see if they whistle that play down. It's recovered by Tulane. And boy, a lot happening here for this veteran officiating crew. I think that's a touchdown, and it is. Is that Cam Carroll that jumped on top of it? No, it was the tight end Tyra James. It was a fumble recovered by the offense into the end zone. Touchdown. The Tulane has to do a better job of condensing the zones on the back end. Clean pocket for Gabriel. Down the middle. Man's wide open for the touchdown, and it's Marlon Williams. Touchdown number three for number six. Ten tackles for loss for UCF's defense. Second and goal on the slant, and there's the touchdown to Jaquan Jackson. Second scoring strike to number four in blue today and Tulane hanging around. Here's a chance right here. Big play coming up officially third and eight time for Gabriel down the far sideline. Jacob Harris has it for the touchdown. Void in that zone and Pratt finds him. More of a sense of urgency now for Tulane trailing big. And that pass, I believe, was going to be intercepted. Gainis comes up with it, his first pick of the season. And Osteen will hit this one. All the way back to the 38. Jackson, a nifty move. Jaquan Jackson with a convoy. Down the far sideline, did he step out of bounds? And Jaquan Jackson has Tulane in business with a nice return. Tulane needs to act with more of a sense of urgency here. All that for Hutterson off right tackle. Makes a couple of men miss towards the end zone. Did he get there? Touchdown, Tulane. Touchdown, Tulane. There's a nine-yard touchdown run by number five, Stephon Hutterson. The Knights in their space unis prove victorious. Beating Tulane, final score once again, 51-34. I'm Roy Philpott saying so long.